Hello, Chalky Chicks friends. Today we're diving into a charming project for our historic home. We're gonna put shutters on these large bay windows. After a quick internet search, Chuck found a simple yet elegant pattern that matched the era of our home, so we decided to bring it to life. Chuck got some untreated lumber from a local hardware store and laid it out with all of the supplies he would need to build the shutters. Chuck chose this knotty pine wood that is untreated because he thought it would match the era of the home. The good thing about choosing such a simple plan for our shutters was that they were really easy for Chuck to make. All it took was a couple of cuts with his saw and then pre-drilling down into the wood so that way he could put the screws in to assemble the shutters and then they were ready for paint and to be hung on our home. Here are the shutters done and when I saw them they matched the length of the frame and I decided I wanted the shutters to match the length of the window instead of the frame so Chuck went back and trimmed them down for me again and now they match the length of the window instead of the entire frame. Now for the fun part, choosing the right paint color. I chose this color based on the metal flowers we have hanging on our porch. This is Midnight by Chalky Chicks, and I think it's gonna be the perfect blue to go onto the shutters. The first step is always to moisten your paintbrush with a couple of quick spritzes of water. The water helps your brush absorb the paint. The elegant, luxurious blue of Midnight is gonna be the perfect contrast against the yellow of our home, and I'm so excited to start working on these shutters. First dip in and here we go. Here's the first swipe of my paintbrush on our shutters. Moistening your brush with water not only helps your brush absorb the paint, but it helps the paint glide across the surface that you're painting. On these shutters, that's really important because it is a raw, untreated wood. It's very rough and you can see some of the saw blade cuts from when the wood was planked at the lumber yard. Let's pause and talk about this color for a minute. Midnight blue is not a blue black, but rather it is the blue of a lake when the moon's glow dances across its surface. And it is such a rich, beautiful color. Chalky Chicks paint is highly pigmented, low VOC, and easy to use. You can paint with it inside or outside, depending on your preference. I usually like to paint in my kitchen or <laughs> honestly in my kitchen or in my office, but because these shutters were so big, I opted to paint outside this time. Chalky Chicks paint is not only made in the USA, but it's also manufactured in the USA, and that's really important to us. For example, when we say that our paint is smooth like butter, it's because it has been filtered at the manufacturer site. And then once we get it to our warehouse, we take the time and we filter it again. So our paint is double filtered. When you get your paint, you have a smooth, silky chalk paint that is easy to touch. It's not gritty at all. Back to the shutters. I'm spritzing down my paintbrush again to help the paint glide across the shutters and also to help the paintbrush accept the paint. Now I'm going to paint the second shutter. I have four shutters to paint, so I need to get going. As always, Sophia is there waiting for her close up. I've got the tops of two of my shutters done, and now I need to start working on all of the little edges where you can see all of that raw wood peeking through. Now this is just the first coat of the paint, but you can see how pigmented it is. Look at that coverage with just one coat of Chalky Chicks paint onto this wood. It's beautiful. It just, it makes your job so much easier knowing that you have such a good coverage paint for your projects. I'm 
I'm glad that I chose a 32 ounce jar of Midnight to paint my shutters with. Because the wood is untreated, it is really absorbing a lot of the paint. So here are two shutters done. I have two to go. And then once that's all done, we're gonna hit them with the second coat of paint and clear coat. Here's a quick example of how I mix my clear coat and my paint together. I normally do one part paint to three parts clear coat. I just kind of pour it all together and then I shake it up real quick. And once it's all combined, I use that as the second coat. See how my paint has a little bit of a white sheen to it? That's the clear coat. It's not a big deal. It can be called ghosting sometimes if when it dries, it's still there. But with the Chalky Chicks paint and clear coat, once you have it on and it dries, it goes away. That's just right now during the painting process. So don't worry about it. It's all fine. Our clear coat is not only waterproof, but also construction grade. So mixing it with our paint is gonna create a durable barrier against the elements and ensure that our shutters will stand the test of time. And there you have it, our DIY bay window shutters with a vintage twist. Midnight captured the charm of the 1920s with a modern feel. You see, it's not just a color choice, but it's also a nod to the architecture of an iconic era. If you like today's DIY adventure or if you have your own historic home story to share, leave me a comment below. Remember, the beauty of a historic home is not just in its walls, but in the stories we create. Until next time, happy painting.